Hiya, Swarmers! Welcome back! With the rise of the internet and the age of the smartphone, information is now at the tip of our fingers. Gone are the days of frustratingly wondering about sports statistics, country populations, or celebrity gossip. But this has also given rise to a ton of misinformation. Unfortunately, poorly researched news articles and sensationalism are now the norm for even mainstream media. So today, we're taking a look at some of the most common myths about our favorite subject, sustainability. Sustainability is all about the environment. We get told this one a lot. But while living a more sustainable lifestyle will help mitigate the environmental effects of climate change, it will also mitigate the economic and other issues that will arise as our planet becomes less hospitable. In human systems, climate change affects and destroys crops and food production, causes disease and death, destruction and loss of economic livelihoods, and migrations of climate refugees. So, you can see, sustainability is about the bigger picture for the planet and all life on it. It focuses on meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. The concept of sustainability is composed of three pillars, economic, environmental, and social, also known informally as profits, planet, and people. Recycling is the easiest way to become sustainable. Believe it or not, this is not true, but it's a great start. The biggest contributors to your carbon footprint are transportation and home energy. And then the third piece of the pie is your purchases. Unsustainable packaging is a heavy carbon addition to your footprint. So refusing, reducing, reusing, and recycling will make a huge difference. The carbon footprint of having a child can be as high as 1 million tons of CO2. Looking at the footprint of a child for the duration you are responsible for them, the range can actually be anywhere from 50 tons of carbon emissions to as high as 350 tons of carbon emissions. But what if we teach our children to follow our sustainable lifestyle? Everyone should become vegan for sustainability. Living sustainably does not require you to completely cut out meat consumption it does require you to source it sustainably. Eating meat that is from grass-fed, organic sources and consuming it in moderation can absolutely be included in a sustainable carbon footprint. Speaking of meat, cow farts are killing the ozone. This one is another myth, if only for the fact that cows produce way more from burping than from the other end. But as to our last point, by reducing your meat consumption and buying the organic, grass-fed option, even farting cows can fit into a sustainable lifestyle. Sustainability is too expensive and will destroy the economy. Our counterpoint to this is that while some things may require significant investment to transition, the higher number of jobs created from that sustainable transition will bring a much larger boost to the economy. Did you know that there are four jobs in recycling to every one in disposal? Jobs will increase from decommissioning old fossil fuel-based infrastructure and adding newer clean technologies infrastructure. Sustainability will lower the standard of living. By reducing waste, pollution, and living healthier, this certainly isn't true. You should be cutting out some of the more extravagant luxuries that you may think you'll miss, but you'll be keeping the planet safe for everyone's future. Ethanol is unsustainable. While ethanol efficiency is very low due to the high energy input being relatively close to the output, it is a renewable source. And with technological advances, this low efficiency will be improved. Redirecting corn usage from livestock is also a great way to ensure that our protein is being sourced from grass-fed, organic alternatives. Proper inflation of tires saves fuel. While this has been a joke to some politicians, this one is no myth. Inflating your tires correctly and getting regular tune-ups can improve your MPG. 
We always advocate replacing your vehicle commute with public transportation when possible, but if you can't, take care of your car to make sure it's running at its best. Better policies and technologies are all that is needed to meet the environmental challenges ahead. This will help with our transition, but we as a society need to commit to reducing our unsustainable practices. So, before you believe that hilarious meme from that guy your friend used to date in high school about the coal industry being cleaner than solar, take a second to visit the source to ensure it is reputable. No one said living a sustainable lifestyle would be easy, but educating yourself will help ease the challenge. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more buzz from the swarm.